Well, uh, really pleased with how we responded in the second second half. Um, you know, Portland State gave us fits today. Uh, quarterback's a tremendous player. Their defense, like we talked about all week, is uh, challenging to handle. Um, you know, and our guys didn't uh, didn't veer off the plan. It was 10 to nine at halftime. Um, you know, I think we felt like uh, you know we weren't we hadn't played real well, but we were in good position and you know love how we were able to close that game out. Um, you know, defensively making the stops we did, offensively scoring and then finishing on the field at the end. So pleased with the effort, but uh, plenty to improve upon. So, what'd you guys talk about at halftime? What, this seemed like a real turning point. Well, I think you just you just try to clean it up. It was it was ten to nine. You know, uh, offensively we hadn't been able to stay on the field. So you you know you're trying to identify the the runs maybe in particular, um, the, the matchups in the past game that we can take advantage of. Defensively, I, you know I, I know a lot of it was about corralling. Alexander and we certainly didn't do that perfectly in the second half, but uh, you know, put some pressure on him, you know, and, and ultimately you know we were able to really bow up when it came to you know when they're in the red zone there at the, the fourth quarter and, and it makes some really really big stops. With James going out, what do you think of Simeon's performance? Uh, you know, he just he continues to step up. You know, I, I think the, the the reps that he has gotten and getting himself into the rotation, prepared, you know, to, to get out there. I, I, I'm certain the touchdown that he gave up was not a good play, but then he comes back, you know, with a pick. Um, and, and you know, he's the type of kid. He's got that next play mentality, which you really don't always see in a freshman. Um, very mature and very competitive. Uh, you know, and we're going to obviously be counting on him big moving forward. Was James inactive, or did he? Uh, was he, uh, or was he available still after he went down? Was uh, he was out for the game. We'll okay. see what it will mean moving forward. It seemed like the first half was pretty run heavy, um, and so what? Why was it that way? And uh, well. What, what, I think their their coverage schemes present trouble, and we just couldn't we couldn't produce first downs, yeah. you know. So so too many three and outs, um, too many poor first down plays. Uh, you know, it was a combination of things, and, and credit certainly goes to, to Portland State with what they were able to do. And you know, uh, finding our groove um, was about just a first down. We got to gain yards, and I thought in the second half for our first down production was uh, way way uh, improved from the first half. The way they run their defense was a big topic coming into this game. What's kind of the assessment on how your team did today? Now, there's obviously a shift in that second half, but just yeah, you know, I, 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 it's one of those deals, and I faced it going back to my time in North Dakota State when Coach Sadat was at Cal Poly. You have to be willing to kind of play the long game, you know, and, and understand they're going to get some some pass to the ball. In, in, you know, they make it hard to get outside, um, and then they got numbers on the inside. So I, I, I thought we kind of settled in and, and found from a schematic perspective the runs that uh, we're producing and, and kind of rode them. I mean, and, and you know, uh, I, I'm certain that Isaiah, Elijah um, broke some tackles along the way too. You know, and I think we wore them down. So or that push becomes a little greater as you go along. Those guys at the second level, their ability to make tackles as the game goes, goes along played in our favor. Lance mentioned that the energy for, for you guys was kind of down in the first half. What did you see from, from that, and what, what do you think maybe explained lack of energy? Oh, I don't know. I mean, what's energy? Energy's doing well. We didn't do very well, so it, no one was real excited. So you get, frust you get frustrated. I don't, think, I don't think we weren't ready to play. I think Portland State's a good team, and, and you know, they came Attention. out and, and made Portland some plays State early and, and made it compl the buses you know, leave more complicated in for us. Five um, minutes. So, you know, we Portland came on the road. On the way to win, to the buses. got our first Thank conference you. win, so we're pleased with that. And you know, uh, you know, would love a faster start for sure. And you know, I think the good thing was we hung in there. You know, and we we were able to create energy, which means we played better. In my opinion. Speaking of that frustration, how kind of frustrating were all those unsportsman lights? Yeah, you know, um, we go up 13, and then we have to kick from the 10. Uh, you know, so they get the ball midfield. Um, we got to correct that. That's it's unacceptable, and um, you know we can be uh, all excited and all that kind of stuff. Which you know we talk about all the time. Celebrate with your teammates. Uh, you know college football, much like pro football, has gotten tighter on on calling taunting, or, and that's essentially we got we got a double dose of it there. Um, so we got to learn from it, um, and we can't have that again. You put Tommy in there for, for a lot of quarterback reps. What was kind of the, the thinking behind Yeah, that? I think Tommy um, is deserving an opportunity to get on the field. Uh, we played him at receiver um, a little bit in quarterback at the end of the last game and try to get him in the regular flow and, and, and with an opportunity to create, create some more offense. He's certainly 
you know, one of our more effective runners. Um, you know, and getting two quarterbacks on the field and getting that on film will be something that other, other teams are certainly going to have to prepare for now, and I, I'm certain we'll, we'll be able to come back to it as the season moves along. Getting your first conference win, what kind of confidence does this give you and your team moving forward? Well, I think uh, conference win, road win, um, down at half win, I mean, I think all those things will allow us to continue to build um, from a character perspective, from a belief perspective. Um, you know, I, I think it was clear, there was no finger pointing at halftime. We hadn't played real well on offense. Defense was on the field too much, but it wasn't like we went in there and, you know, defense is get, you know, getting on the offense or whatever. We're a team, we're a unified group. And, and today really, I, I sealed that. I mean, I, I think our guys um, understand that we just gotta hang in there. You know, it's not always gonna go our way. We gotta hang in there, keep fighting, um, count on each other and um, getting good things will happen. Tyrell didn't play. What was the, kind of the reason for that? Uh, you know, Tyrell just got back uh, practice this week. Um, you know, I think we were thinking more from an emergency, emergency perspective. Um, you know, had, he was out for a while, and he was out for a while in the summer. So getting him back conditioning-wise, especially on a day like today, I mean, it was hot. It was hot, and we were in the sun. Um, you know, I just it just didn't work out today. But I would suspect, you know, he'll be he'll be ready to go next week um, with James going down. I, you know, we'll see how that goes. But Tyrell will certainly uh, figure in. I know moving forward.